Hey there, this is Stan, K9SWX, and today we're going to be talking about how to get APRS on your iPhone or iPad using the Yaesu FT65R and the MobileLink TNC3. So the first thing you'll need to make all this happen is the radio, of course, and I'm using the Yaesu FT65R, which is a entry-level dual-band uh, radio. Um, it usually runs about $100, at least at, at the time of this recording. Uh, for most of your major ham dealers like DX Engineering, Ham Radio Outlet, uh, Gigaparts, r and uh, Associated Radio, and uh, MTC Radio has it as well. Uh, you can also buy, find it on Amazon. Um, for some reason, it's you sh it's running about twenty-five to thirty bucks more on Amazon. So, you know, you do usually get free shipping on Amazon. So, you could go that route. If you, you know, you got an Amazon card or something or gift card to use or whatever. But um, usually it runs about $100 at most places. Um, the next thing you're going to need is the Mobile Link TNC. And I'm using the TNC 3, which is no longer made. And now they're on the TNC 4. Um, right now it's running about 150 bucks direct from Mobile Link D, I guess it's, or Mobile Linked is how they pronounce it. Um, you're going to need the TNC, which is, you know, the radio that does all the APRS and packet stuff. And you're also going to need a cable. And the one I'm using for the FT65 is this one here, the two pin TNC cable for newer Yesu models. And they clearly list, you know, the FT4, the 25 and the 65R. So, you know, it's like 13 bucks. It's well worth it unless, you know, if you're good at making cables, that's great. But I just like to go with what works and what's tested and what's already available. So there you go. All right. The next thing you're going to need, you're going to need two apps for your iPhone or iPad. Uh, the first one is the Mobile Links Config app. And I'll have all these links in the description. but Or you can search in the iPhone App Store for this. But you'll need this app first because this is how you're going to configure the TNC for the different settings. And then the next app you're going to need is the APRS.FI app, which is an awesome program for the iPhone and iPad for APRS. And it is compatible with the TNC3 and TNC4, as well as other um, specific uh, Bluetooth uh, TNCs. But you'll need those two apps and um, this the APRS one is six ninety nine. Um, plus, you'll need to purchase a subscription. Uh, let me see here. Um, it's you need the extra features. You can pay a dollar ninety nine a month, or you, I just pay by the year. You can either do the six forty nine, or um, if you really want to support the developer, you can do the thirteen forty nine a year, which is well worth it for uh, what you get if you're really into APRS. Okay, so let's set up the radio side first. So here's the FT65, and here on the right side is where you'll plug in the cable. That's the one with the two prongs. I'll plug that in there, like so. And then on the TNC3 or 4, um, you're going to plug this one into that side. And there's that. All right, so we should have the APRS.FI app and the Mobile Link TNC Config app. So I'm going to use the Mobile Link TNC Config app first. And it's going to ask if you want to use Bluetooth. So go ahead and hit OK. And then what you're going to do is go to your TNC and just tap the power button right here. You see a green and blue light. And then on the screen, it says TNC Mobile Link D. Go ahead and tap on that and hit Connect. And then it's going to ask you to pair with the iPhone or iPad. And now we're connected. So now we've got a settings screen. So we're just going to go through each one of these. Let's start with the audio input. And what we're going to go ahead and do is turn the uh, radio on. I put it just a little bit like that. And as you can see, um, you should be seeing the bar move there for the audio input level. And they recommend that it goes not all the way to the right, but just kind of like that. Now, if you're not seeing anything, uh, you probably don't have your squelch open. 
So make sure on the radio here, you want to hit the F key here and then hit the button above it and make sure the squelch level is set to zero. So now that we've got that, let's go back and hit configure and then go to output settings. I hit OK, and I found the best to use multiplex. I couldn't get it to work on this simplex setting. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my other radio so we can hear what's going on. Because we're going to do a little test here. So I'm going to hit transmit on the 1200 hertz. Okay, you can see it's keyed up here. Let me move this a little bit. So that's working. We'll do the 2200. That works. And we'll do both. There you go. And you may need to fiddle with some of these settings, but I'm just going to leave them alone for now. All right, we'll go to the next screen, the power settings. Here it'll show you the battery level of your TNC. I'm going to leave that alone. And then it's got the KISS parameters. Um, I'm just going to leave it leave it where it is for now. Modem configuration. Um, we're going to keep it on 1200 baud because that's what the majority of APRS is. And then their TNC information just gives you your firmware, what version, um, serial number, all that stuff. All right, so when you're all done here, go ahead and hit the disconnect at the top left. Otherwise, we won't be able to connect to it from APRS.FI. All right, let's get out of this, and we're going to go into the APRS.FI app. And then at the bottom right here, we're going to go into More. And let's first click on TNC and DSP modem. And we're going to hit Select a TNC or Software Modem. And under here, where it says BLE TNC Mobile Link, there it is. So we're going to click on that. Now it says we're connected. So um, let's go to Beacon. And um, let's set up our station. I've already got my station set up in here. Um, let's just do New Station. And I'm going to do dash six and then hit create and I'm going to change the icon from a telephone to let's see we'll just do a person maybe it's called human human okay oh, it didn't save <laughs> let's try that again human there we go and then in the comment, you can change it to whatever you want. I guess for now, we'll leave it We'll leave it where it says APRS.FI for iOS. Um, for what I'm doing, the packet path, that's the default. Wide 1, 1, comma, wide 2, dash 1. That usually works pretty well. Um, then you can set your minimum transmit interval and maximum transmit interval. Um, let's see probably don't need 15 seconds <laughs> probably do two minutes um, maybe send it every 10 it doesn't matter you can tinker with it and then let's go ahead and scroll back up here and let's beacon via TNC you get this little warning and hit OK now as soon as I hit this beacon your position at the top um, you're going to see, I've got my other radio sitting here, and you're going to, you should see our packet. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it. And there you go. So there's that. We saw it on the radio here, and I'll go ahead and go into my FT5 here and see the station list. And there it is, K9SWX-6, which is the one from the iPad. Go into that. And if I scroll down, there's our comment, APRS.FI. Now, if I really wanted to be cool, I can 
reply. And I'm just going to see if it'll let me send it. So I'm going to hit send. Oops, guess I can't. I think it's probably because I don't have, oh, I don't have GPS enabled. Well, that's okay. Um, let me go back to the iPad here. And we will go to more. And you can see what it sent here in red. That's the whole packet. Um, there's a better view if you want to see. Uh, let's see, where is it here? Eye gate. If you want, you can even use this as an eye gate, but I'm not going to turn that on right now. Now, right now, we haven't heard any stations. So let me move my radio here where I can get a GPS lock, and I will send my uh, beacon here. Let's go ahead and hit that. And there it is. It showed up right there. That's from my FT5. And you can see it shows up here on the station's herd. And there it gives me all my information. It's even at the bottom, FT5. Pretty cool. So there you go. There is APRS on an iPhone or an iPad using the FT65 and a mobile link TNC3 or TNC4 if you have the new one. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, is that a pretty cool way to get on APRS um, using, uh, I guess you would say, the Apple ecosystem? <laughs> um, sometimes it's not as easy using ham stuff on the Apple stuff, but there you go. Um, if you have any questions about this whole setup, you can put a comment in below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to ding my bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks again and 73 from K9SWX.